Previously in our series on how to play Firelight Heroes, we showed you how to make a hero using the legendary Bramante Oakheart as an example, then how combat works as Bramante fought Razor Rylar and her goons. He managed to defeat them and even got the location of his sworn enemy, Count Seronian, out of the surviving goon. The bad news is that to get to Count Seronian, Bramante will have to get out of town without getting caught by the guards who are now looking for him, meet up with his buddies, and get on the road north. This is where challenges and trials come into play. To get out of town without being spotted, Bramante will have to roll a challenge. This is another use of heroic action dice. Bramante will need to roll his final d8. If he gets a 1, the challenge has failed and he'll be caught by the guards. If he rolls a 2 to 4, he'll succeed with some unforeseen consequences, but if he manages to get a 5 or higher, he'll slip right out unnoticed. He rolls, damn, a 3. He manages to make it out of the town to regroup with his party, but the town guards are lying in wait. The GM and Bramante's player narrate how this chain of events unfurls. Now his whole party will have to attempt to escape. They don't want to fight the town guard, but also can't waste the time needed to talk their way out. This is where trials come in. A trial is like a challenge, but for a whole party instead of a single hero. Each hero must roll their own heroic action dice to take part, but this time they all succeed or fail as a group. A 1 counts as a failure still. This time, 2 to 4 is a close success, and a 5 plus is a total success that lets the party negate a single failure. Including Bramante, they have a party of 4, all level 1 heroes. They each roll for the trial. Bramante rolls a 7. The other players roll a 4, a 3, and a 1. Because Bramante rolled a 7, he can negate the other character's failure. The hero still loses a heroic action dice in the trial, but the whole party makes it out. Between the GM and the players, they narrate the chase, a close call where one player almost gets caught by a mounted guard, but Bramante charges into the side of the horse, knocking it down in a single heroic headbutt, allowing them all to escape from town. Now you know how challenges and trials work. It's a simple way of creating tension in moments that need it, without slowing down the story. Bramante and his friends made it out, now they can begin their journey north in their quest to bring Count Seronian to justice. Some of the party are injured now though, and will need to recover before they have their vengeance. In the next video we'll cover how travelling and resting works in Firelight Heroes. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hoopsnake Studios YouTube channel for more Firelight Heroes content and updates on all the other exciting things we're working on. You can also download the PDF rules for free from hoopsnakestudios.com to start playing right now.